hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so here we have 8 to the power of c plus 4 to the power of c is equals to 36 and we solve this problem for the values of c so uh, here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to focus in the basis of this equation uh, so this is the exponential equation and now we convert first this exponential equation into the simple uh, equation or simple polynomial form uh, for this we need some working here so first we need to focus on this base and we have this is 8 and uh, we can write this 8 into the prime factors form and it will be written as this is 2 cubed uh, and its whole power c we write this 8 as 2 cubed plus we write this 4 as 2 square and its whole power c is equals to 36 and now in the next step so here uh, i can just use the nice exponent law uh, so you very well know about this life we have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of n to the power of n this means that if you have exponent to the exponents and when we interchange these two exponents it does not affect our final answer so uh, here we need to exchange these two exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of c and its whole cubed plus this is 2 to the power of c and its whole square is equals to 36 and now further in the next step uh, you see here uh, we need to take uh, y is equals to 2 to the power of c and when we put y equals to 2 to the power of c our above equation is written as y cubed plus y square is equals to 36 and now you see here this equation will becomes cubic in y variable and now here we can uh, just find the values of y uh, so first here we need to make the factors of this equation and it will be written as y cubed plus y square and here we write uh, this 36 as in this form we break this 36 as 27 plus 9 and now further in the next step uh, we move these two values in the left hand side and it will becomes y cubed plus y square and this is 27 when we move here it will becomes <clears throat> minus 27 and minus 9 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so here uh, we again rewrite this equation as we make the pair of y cubed with 27 and we make the pair of y square with 9 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so again we rewrite this equation as this is y cubed minus we write this 27 as 3 cubed and plus uh, this is y square minus we write this 9 as 3 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here we uh, need to use uh, the nice uh, two formulas. First we can apply the cubic formula you know about that. If we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and second we apply the square identity you know that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so first we apply this cubic formula in the first term so our first term is uh, implies that uh, first you have a minus b the value of a is y the value of b is 3 and it will becomes uh, y minus uh, 3 times of uh, y square plus y into 3 plus uh, 3 square and plus here we can apply this formula it will be written as uh, y minus uh, 3 times of uh, y plus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so further we need more simplifications and you see here both of these terms involve y minus 3 uh, so that we will take common y minus 3 and we get the remaining values are 
here you get y square and here you have 3y plus this 3 square equals to 9 and when we take common y minus 3 from here we will get y plus 3 and this whole equation is equal to 0 and now we need more simplifications and it will be written as y minus 3 times of here we add or subtract the like terms and we have this is y square and 3y plus y becomes 4y and 9 plus 3 becomes 12 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we need more simplifications and now we break this equation into the two cases. Uh, the first case is we write y minus 3 equals to 0. The second case is we write y square plus 4y plus 12 equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, from first case <clears throat> we easily get the value of y is equals to 3 and from second case uh, here you have this is the quadratic equation and now we can solve this quadratic equation uh, by applying the quadratic formula uh, now here first we need to uh, complete our case number one and here we back substitute the value of y and the value of y is equals to 2 to the power of c is equals to 3 and because we solve this problem for the values of c so that we need to take the log on both of the sides uh, so uh, when we take log it will be written as log of 2 to the power of c is equals to 3 and here we move the c in the front of this log and it will become c times of log 2 is equals to log 3 so this is our log 3 okay so here uh, we find the value of c and we move this log 2 to the right hand side and it will becomes log 3 divided by log 2 and we write this term as log of 3 with base 2 so this is the value of first value of c first real value of c okay and now we check that is the second case will give us the real value or not because we solve this problem only real values of c so first we can check is this equation has real root or not by applying that discriminant formula and for this we can write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c is equals to 12 and we state uh, the discriminant formula as delta equals to b square minus 4 times of a c so b is equals to 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 12 4 square becomes 16 and 4 times of 12 becomes 48 and you see here 16 minus 48 uh, is equals to minus 32 and you see here minus 32 is less than 0 it means that uh, this quadratic equation has a uh, no real root okay so this equation has no real roots so if this has no real roots uh, then we can just reject it uh, this case because of we can solve this problem for only real values of c so we rejected this case and we have only one real value of the given question and that is c is equals to log of 3 with base 2. So this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.